Hello, and good afternoon. Uh, so, I recently got a new upper for my rifle. Um, I had a lower, it's a PSA lower, with a um, um, upgraded bolt and trigger group. So it's a nickel bore unpolished job, and it's really good. I've shot it um, in other platforms before, love it, awesome. And so I wanted something different. So I got a new upper. It's from Mid State Firearms out of um, Mississippi. And they do an awesome job. They have a website where it's like uppers, and you can select what kind of um, muzzle brake or attachment you want um, foregrip, optic, light, uh, kind of rail, anything from you know, 7 inch rails to 12 inch rails. Uh, just for the hell of it, I decided to get a quad rail. And it's actually a 1 in 7, uh, looks like a medium profile barrel, um, mid length gas system. So, this is my first mid length gas system I've ever had. Um, I'll have to fire it here in the next few days and uh, see how it does. Um, so, I wanted to do a paint job on this, and I painted before my last couple rifles. The pistol I didn't do so much because the idea was use different colored accessories to uh, break up the, the color of the rifle and I, I like that for like a uh, urban truck gun kind of setup deal. Um, so for this, um, what I did was um, I had some leftover paint and some spare parts left over and let, let me go over just right now. So my Cyclops that I bought by ACSS Cyclops, one, Cyclops 1X was designed for this rifle. That was the whole reason why I bought it. And if you can tell, it's the 13.9 pin and weld. Um, it will be. Uh, this muzzle brake is a SOL Rifle Works a hybrid comp flush hider compensator. But I'm probably going to get a Sons of Liberty um, Noxel, I think is what it's called. And it's like 115 bucks. Um, I'm gonna get that pinned and weld permanently, and um, that way I can put a dead air uh, Sandman suppressor at the end because that's you can use it for that. So let me start start from the stock and work to the front here. Um, just a Bushmaster M4 style stock, nothing fancy, uh, more than adequate enough for the job. Um, oh, I do have a, I believe it's a Griffin Armaments. I don't think I put up so many videos, so I forgot about it. So, it is a Castle Nut holder with a QD mounts on either side. So, instead of, you know, taking apart, taking apart, um, you know, your in play and your receiver spring popping out and all that shit. It sucks. It's horrible. I hate doing that. I fucking hate it. Um, so I went ahead and got this. I think it was like 35, 40 bucks. Totally worth it, and it holds here uh, your castle in place. It does a really damn good job. Just uh, one bolt goes through and holds it together. Um, this was a um, Magpul K2 grip that has got the uh, that, that rubber silicon uh, grip. Feels great. It's, it's a little tacky, but uh, you know nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing gross. Um, Right now, I'm right, not running any backup irons as of yet, but I plan on getting some uh, here in the not too distant future. And they also have kill flash for my uh, Cyclops and some other things. Um, let's see. Got my nickel boron group in here. Also, PSA. Love it. Cleans so easy. Feels so smooth. Um, in here, I am running a. Shit, what I'm running? I think I'm running an H2 buffer from Spike Tactical in conjunction with that melee gas system. That is going to be a soft recoiling rifle here. It's going to be awesome. Um, let's see what else. Though really, um, I, I might replace the, the buffer in the future with the H1. H2, H3 buffers are more for like a uh, pistol series or if you're going to run a suppressor. Though if I'm going to run a suppressor this in the future, I might just leave it in there. Anyways. Uh, quad rail. Now this is a, a thick boy. It's a, it's a chunky guy, right? So I'm like, oh wow, you know, that's it's, it's not horrible or anything. It's, it's not bad. 
Oh my damn, you know, I need to work on that maybe. Um, I have some ladder rails that are like um, a silicon. So I'll probably put some in a couple spots around this uh, old uh, Strike Industries uh, Cobra handguard I have. And uh, that, that should help it a little bit. Um, it doesn't really feel cheese gratery, so that's nice. Um, and then uh, that's how our rifle works. Uh, hybrid comp. Anyways, um, all worked out pretty well. And let me go over briefly the, the paint job I did. I, I really like this. It has this almost like a... Uh, Almost like a desert tiger stripe look to it. It's got those. And that the black is from uh, just the base coat, the, the regular black phosphate uh, coating that covers with every base black rifle. So I just stripped, uh, painted that off in stripes at a forward angle. I sprayed this with, uh, let's see here, with earth brown. It's good stuff here. This might be reverse, I don't know, image. But it's uh, Russell and Camo. Uh, earth brown. After I let that dry, I put some more tape on it, this time going at a different angle. If you can tell, I don't know if you can, I'll try to get the light right here. This is brown, and then this is the black. Um, so it works great. I have this backwards brown angles coming out. And then what I did was, um, that, that's a khaki, so yeah, I went over the next coat in khaki, or the stripe, going the opposite way. And I have uh, Instagram, I put the pictures up on there if you're interested in it, I think it's Hoosier Tactics. Um, and then what I did was, probably uh, the part I'm, I'm least pleased with, but you know, it turned out okay. Um, I ha had, a girlfriend had a, um, some bags of fine mesh like carrying bags I'm like oh cool I can you know use that to make like a, a scale appearance uh, no um, it was too fine of a pattern so it, it didn't work out great it just it kind of like splotchy like paint droplets I don't know if I can get this in for you but yeah so I'm not too pleased with that but overall it's fine next time um, I'll use um, I think I've seen like people use like laundry netting and that kind of thing and you know give it more of a scaly look but overall actually the brown, the khaki, and the black look really awesome. It's almost like a urban slash desert look. And I, honestly, I'm actually really pleased with this. And, um, it's a nice surprise. Now, I just have this, you know, foregrip here, the angle foregrip here, as a placeholder. Um, I'll probably get a, um, a Bronco Company, uh, I think Mod 2 stubby grip um to put there but i mean in, you know in the meantime this is it's not a big deal uh but yeah 13.9 mid state in uh, firearms excuse me out of uh, i think clinton mississippi i grew up on the coast of mississippi so that was kind of cool um and let's see oh yeah also the processing time so i ordered on a friday and it took about a day to process then over the weekend, you know, no one's really going to work and put stuff out. And then uh, I got it by Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So basically a three to four day um, process. And that was it. Um, so far, so good. Um, I'm going to have to put a couple minor accessories on here in the meantime. And then uh, get pin and weld on here. And then take it shooting. And then I'll let you know on the, the second update. So this is part one, I guess. Have a good evening and afternoon and all that kind of crap.